everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key and this is keys playing life so today we're going to talk about my top three my top three checking and savings accounts so uh, a lot of people want to know you know how do i go about choosing my checking accounts how do i go about choosing my savings accounts um who do i bank with and so on so i'm here to give you a little insight and hopefully it'll make you help you make a conscious decision about who you choose to bank with and where you're going to have your money stored honey so let's get into it so now when we're talking about checking accounts for my checking i have i bank with two places i love chase and i use chase to pay my bills chase i pay all my bills out of my chase account not to mention, I have credit cards with Chase. So, they like really hooked your sister up on their credit. So, but I only use my credit cards. I use my credit cards for the points. And that's another reason I stick with Chase. I use my credit card for the points. And I pay all my bills using my credit card. And they helps me accumulate points. And I get like lots and tons of cash back. Um, So, I use Chase to pay my bills and for my um, credit cards. And then, for my personal money... <clears throat> and like my emergency fund i use a credit union now i prefer navy federal just because they have an awesome they have awesome customer service um i love that you get a dividend each month for being with their bank and if you're, you're probably like what is a dividend well a dividend is where you get a little bit of money every month for being a member of that bank it's like you're buying into that into that credit union so don't 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 get excited because it ain't a lot of money it might be 10 cent it might be 50 cent it depends on how much money you have in your account um i also use them for my emergency fund because although i have other accounts I need that emergency fund. I need to be able to have access to that emergency fund right then and there. Now, I could, if I wanted to, I could just use my credit card as an emergency fund. But no, I use, uh, I have that as an emergency fund. And I just keep a little bit of some, some in there. Um, what I do is typically once it gets up to a thousand, I transfer 500 of it into my rainy day fund or my retirement fund or I split it into those accounts and then start over. So, um and some people might not some people might say, "Well, that's not smart. That's not smart." Okay, cuz my rainy day fund is the money that I use just in case I ever lose my job. All that money goes there. My emergency fund is if my car breaks down, if a if a bill comes up and it needs to be paid. So, that's not just money that I just have to have on hand because if need be, I can use my credit card and just take the money from my rainy day and pay my credit card off. But I'm not doing that. I do it how I do it. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about my banks. Okay, so for my savings savings, like my retirement and my um, rainy day, which is a rainy days for me are me having three to six months or even up to a year of funds saved up into an account. In the event that something happens, my husband loses his job, I lose my job, some type of emergency prevents us from bringing in a steady income, I have my rainy day fund put right there on the sideline. So, and my retirement fund is money that I plan on retiring with once I get, because I, I plan to still be working until I'm like 70 or 60. 60 yeah about 70 till i'm 70 years old then that money is steady building a nice amount of interest so when i turn 70 i got a nice little amount tucked away so i choose to take those two accounts and i use choose to use my um capital one 360 account just because i feel like those are really really good accounts and i'm trying i'm gonna try to put a link if you're interested in the capital one 360 account i'll try to put a link that you can use in order to start your account but this is a online account and i know when you hear online i know you feel like you can't access your money because it's online so you would it's it's not good a good option for you but you can do a chase you can do i mean not a chase you can do a capital one 360 checking account as well i just choose to bank with the two 
do my checking accounts with the two companies that I'm doing my checking accounts with. But as far as my savings, even with Capital One, I can go inside that branch and withdraw money or add money to that account. It's just an online account. So I can't go to the ATM and pull money. I would have to literally go inside the bank. And I can transfer money over from any one of my checking accounts into those two accounts that I have with Capital One. They are high yield um, savings accounts. And 85% of online savings accounts do offer high yield savings. Um, this one I know offers, it used to offer 1.50%. 1, 1. But now it only offers 1%, which is still good. And I think the more money you have in the account, the more um, percentage it offers to the um, interest. But right now, my interest rate is 1. And that's the thing about um, any savings account. They have the option and the right to change the amount of interest that they pay on an account every month at any given moment that's at their discretion and when i had them at first it was 130 and like i said they moved down to one 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 point zero zero percent which is still good because on my money i'm still making like four five dollars on interest and as you put more money in there you make more money so yeah i think that's pretty good though i'm not definitely not complaining about it okay so um another one that i like is um an online checking account and savings account as well is paypal prepaid mastercard not your paypal account although we're going to talk about that as well but the paypal prepaid mastercard it allows you to get your check up to i think two to three business days early plus their savings account offers i think 1.5 percent interest if i'm not mistaken and i just like the fact that you get your money like at my paychecks everybody else getting paid on a friday i'm getting paid on a wednesday that works for me so i have had my paypal account for years over over 14 years i've had my paypal account so I, we've been deep in this thing we got a relationship we're going together um <laughs> the paypal regular paypal account they do now offer a prepaid debit card but i don't use that account but that account does come in handy to store money if you want to use it as a savings account it does come in handy to store money because what i like about them they're very hands-on if a transaction is not what it's supposed to be or it's messed up or you don't they take care of business you file your claim you get your money honey um but you know they do their investigation they want to make sure you tell them the truth about what you what you filing this claim on but you get your money and i like that about them but those are just a few of the um checking and savings accounts that i like and it took me a long time to find a bank that i actually liked where i felt like my money me putting my money in they were happy that i were putting was putting my money with their company and that i felt like a valued customer because when my, i don't feel like i'm valued and i'm putting thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in your in your bank to hold for me we have a problem so i have banked with everybody you could think of and i finally feel like these are the ones i'm going to be with them for a long long time so yeah i'm going to get out of here i hope that you found this helpful i mean i would advise you when you're choosing a bank especially to save your money in you want to see how much interest is building you want to see um you want to look at reviews you want to see their their banking business um, you, you just really want to do your homework on the bank that you choose to store your money in because that is very important. I don't want my money just sitting in a bank. I can sit it, if that's the case, I can have it at home. I need my money to sit in a bank and I need it to be working for me and I need to, I need it to be making money. I don't care if it's $10 a month. That's $10 a month I did not have before so but i need it to work for me and i need it to be building and also i use chase chase has a really good program for their stocks and their iras i like their um i have stocks with them um i use them to purchase my stocks and i use them for my Roth ira and they are really really a good bank to bank with when it comes to that um type of situation so 
yeah i'm gonna get out of here i really hope this video helped i'm i am learning like you guys but i feel like the things that i learn i want to be able to share them with you guys i want to give you the same type same knowledge that i have as i learn along the way and it may be a younger genera generation that's watching and i don't want them to be like me 39 years old just figuring this stuff out thank god my son is at the age where it really shocked me today and i really felt like i was starting i always feel like i'm a good mother but i feel like i was starting to do something extremely right because we opened up him a checking account and he was like yeah because i want to um what he said he said i want to say start saving my money now so when i get ready to get my house when i get older i can get me a house and that's the money i'm going to use as my down payment so at 13 he knows to start self but at 13 he knows to start saving his money putting his money up um and he already has a insight of the things that he he already has plans for that money for the future and the way that he just felt like investing how do you know at 13 that that's going to be your down payment for your house but you know this and he's the type of person he doesn't have to spend spend money he's really cautious cautious about how he spends his money and he is really aware of how he spends his money now don't get me wrong he splurges sometimes but he's really strict about not spending his money like at all um like today i think the only reason he was willing to spend his money because his turtles he has two turtles leo and louis his turtles needed filters for their turtle tank and he was like you can take some money from my checking account and get them some filters and i'm like what what 13 year you know it's so money <sighs> money suave at this age i was at 13 i didn't have a checking account or a savings account and my mom really didn't teach me the value of a dollar and to start saving and and how to 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 invest your money for the future you i wasn't taught that and to know that he's learning that is beautiful and i feel like i'm doing something right and i'm so proud of him and I feel sorry for the girl that marries my son because she gonna need to have it together. Have your stuff in a row. You need to have good credit, he say. See, now he on that credit, honey. You need to have good credit. You need to have a good paying job. And you need to have your own, okay? Because he say he not taking care of no woman till he marry her. Period, poo. I feel like I raised him so right. You feel like he can take care of his girlfriend. He ain't taking care of no woman. He paying no bills. Until so, that's his wife. He already said he not just moving in with no girlfriend. So the time he move in, which you know at thirteen, you know you just be saying something. Who knows? You know he might find that little that little mama that that turns his life upside down, and he be he might be like mama moving in. Who knows? But right now he's making me proud. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna get out of here i'll see you guys in the next video remember to think smart and spend smarter bye